हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे वर्किंग एज द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वेर स्टडीड द डिटेल्स अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टाइप्स ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम वी नो दैट द कम्युनिकेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वेइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू द अनदर प्लेस द इन्फॉर्मेशन मे बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वॉइस वीडियो सिग्नल्स और एनी टाइप ऑफ डिजिटल और एनालॉग डेटा लेट्स सी द टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स आर क्लासिफाइड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिग्नल ट्रांसमिटेड बाय द सिस्टम एंड साइमल्टेनिटी ऑफ द डेटा फ्लो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द सिग्नल there are two types of communication system first one is analog and digital communication system and second one is baseband and broadband communication system depending upon the data flow there is one type of communication system which is simplex and duplex communication system or it is also called as one way or two way communication system let's see the description of the each type one by one the first type is analog and digital communication system first of all we have to know that what is mean by the term analog and the term digital the analog signal is a signal which is continuous in nature and having infinite number of values the example of analog signal is a sine wave the sine wave is a continuous in nature and having infinite number of values while the digital signal is a signal which is discontinuous in nature and having finite number of values the example of the digital signal is simply a square wave the square wave has only two values 0 and 1 hence square wave is the example of digital signal while the sine wave is the example of analog signal let's see the analog communication system the communication system in which the analog signal is transmitted is called as analog communication system it is used in telephone communication system the second one is digital communication system the communication system in which digital signal is transmitted is called as digital communication system it is used in mobile communication system now the next type is baseband and broadband communication system first of all see the baseband communication system the original information signal is known as baseband signal it may be analog or digital in nature if the original signal that means the voice video or any signal is transmitted through the medium it is referred to as the baseband transmission that means in baseband communication system the original signal is transmitted the example of the baseband communication system is in many telephone or intercom communication system voice itself placed on the wire and transmitted over some distance to the receiver the next example of the baseband communication system is in pc to pc communication the direct signal is transmitted through the coaxial cables here this example is shown that this pc communicate with this pc through the coaxial cable and the signal is directly transmitted i hope you understand the baseband communication system now let's see the broadband communication system the baseband signal is not possible to transmit all the times because in larger distances there is no possible uh, it is less possibility to transmit the signal through the coaxial cables or through the wire mediums so in communication system the baseband signal is not possible to transmit all the times that is the voice signals cannot be transmitted directly through the transmitting antenna 
to transmit baseband signal by radio signal is first processed known as modulation the techniques using modulations are referred to as broadband communication system that means in short we can say that the communication system in which the modulation process is done is called as the broadband communication system there are different types of modulation techniques in the technique of the modulation the baseband signal such as voice video or digital signal is superimposed or placed on a high frequency signal known as carrier and then transmitted this type of communication is called as the broadband communication system it is very simple that some original signals are weak in nature that is that means they have less frequency so they cannot uh, easily transmitted to the destination in long distance communication these signals are need to be placed on a carrier this carrier is having a high frequency that means this original signal is modulated with the carrier and then transmitted at the receiving end the demodulation process is done and the original signal is taken out from the carrier this system is known as the broadband communication system the examples of the broadband communication system is our simple mobile communication here is the modulation process is shown this is the original signal which is having a less frequency and this is a carrier signal which is having a more frequency this carrier signal is modulated with the original signal and then transmitted there are various types of modulation techniques this diagram shows the amplitude modulation this shows the frequency modulation and this shows the phase modulation okay i hope you understand the broadband communication system now let's see the third type of communication system one way or two way communication system or simplex or duplex communication system let's see the first one way or simplex communication system in this type of communication the data or information can be transmitted only one in one direction it is a very important word here only in one direction that means the data can be transmitted in only one direction this data cannot be sent back in this type okay i hope you understand what is simplex communication system the example of the simplex communication system is the signal to computer to the printer that means from our computer we can give give a print to the printer but from the printer we cannot give any command to the computer that means there is only one way type of communication the system in which the only one way type of communication is happen is called as simplex or one way communication system the other examples of the one way communication system is or the simplex is the radio broadcasting tv broadcasting cable television wireless or remote control navigation and direction finding services telemetry surveillance etc i hope you understand the concept of simplex or one way communication system now let's see the next type two way or duplex communication system as the name implies two way that means the data can be sent or received in this type of system in this type of communication the data or information can be transmitted in both direction the duplex communication system further classified into two types such as half duplex and full duplex let's see the half duplex communication system if the data or information transmission goes one way at a time it is called as half duplex that is data or information can be transmitted or 
can be received at the same time both the processes cannot be done at the same time that means in this type of communication if the data transmission is continued then at the same time the data reception is not possible either you can send data or you can receive data at the same time i hope you all understand the concept of half duplex communication system the example of half duplex communication system is a walkie talkie used in military services the next type is full duplex communication system if the data or information transmission goes both way at a same time it is called as full duplex communication system that is data or information can be transmitted and received at the same time then it is called as two way or duplex communication system both the processes can be done at the same time that means this block can send data and at the same time this block can also receive data okay the examples of the full duplex communication system is our telephone system or mobile communication in telephone or mobile the caller and call receiver also communicate with each other at the same time the other applications of the full duplex communication system are internet radar sonar facsimile two way radio data communication etc i hope you all understand the types of the communication system let's take a short summary of the types of the communication system there are mainly three types of communication system first one is analog and digital communication system analog and digital communication system it is very simple the communication system in which analog data is transmitted is called as analog communication system and the communication system in which digital signal is transmitted is called as digital communication system our second type is baseband and broadband communication system baseband and wait a minute and broadband communication system the baseband communication system means the communication system in which the original signal is transmitted is called as baseband communication system while the communication system in which the original signal is transmitted with the carrier signal that means the system in which the modulation process is done is called as broadband communication system and the third type is one way two way one way two way or simplex and duplex communication system okay the simplex communication system simplex communication system in which the data can be transmitted in one direction only the system in which the data can be transmitted in one way or in one direction then it is called as simplex then the second one is the duplex communication system this duplex communication system is divided into two types first one is half duplex and second one is full duplex what happens in half duplex communication system in duplex communication system the data can be sent and can be received it is called as duplex communication system that means from a block the data can be sent and from b block the data can be received but the only one process can be done at the time that means if the data transmission is processed or continuing 
then at the same time the data reception is not possible okay the data transmission and data reception cannot be possible at the same time the second type is full duplex second type is full duplex in this type of transmission if the blocks a and b are shown then the data transmission and the data reception can be done at the same time i hope you all understand the basic concept of the types of the communication system okay thank you students